Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 14th of December 2022. Today we celebrate John of the Cross, who is a poet and a teacher of the faith. Born to an impoverished noble family near Avila in Spain in 1542, Juan de Jepes was brought up by his widowed mother and went to a charity school. He worked as a nurse and received further education from the Jesuits before entering the Carmelite order when he was 21. Having distinguished himself at Salamanca University, he was ordained in 1567 and met Teresa of Avila soon afterwards. Small of stature, he made a great impression on her and she persuaded him to help with her reform of the Carmelite order. His labours brought him into conflict with the religious authorities and he was even imprisoned for a period. Yet these experiences prompted some of his finest poetry and mystical writing. In particular, he described the dark night of the soul as it purified in its approach towards God. After 10 years as superior to different houses, he fell again out of favour and was banished to Andalusia in southern Spain, where he died after a severe illness on this day in 1591. <clears throat> so we begin our evening prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us, O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, creator of sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and set our tongues to free to sing your praise now and forever. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And our hymn for this evening is Longing for Light. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ, we are light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled, longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us, make us your living voice. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for food, many are hungry, longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others, shed until all are fed. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for warmth, many are cold. Make us your building, sheltering others. Walls made of living stone. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gather today. Many the gifts, many the people, many the hearts that yearn to belong. Let us be servants to one another, making your kingdom come. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, 
hearts shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gathered today. But this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Now, Psalm for this evening, Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, O my God, in you I put my trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame, but let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your paths, O Lord, and teach me your ways. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I have hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think of me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and upright in the Lord, therefore shall he teach sinners in his way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Then will he teach in the way that they should choose. Their souls shall dwell at ease and their offspring shall inherit the land. The hidden purpose of the Lord is for them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased. O oh, bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery, and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many. They bear a violent hatred against me. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Psalm 82. God has taken his stand in the council of heaven. In the midst of the gods he gives judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and show such favour to the wicked? You were to judge the weak and the orphan, defend the right of the humble and needy, rescue the weak and the poor, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have no knowledge or wisdom. They walk on still in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Therefore I say that though you are gods and all of you children of the Most High, nevertheless you shall die like mortals and fall like one of their princes. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for it is you that shall take all nations for your possession. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. <clears throat> Prophecy of Isaiah chapter 39. At that time, King Merodach Baladan, son of Baladan of Babylon, sent envoys with letters and a present to King Hezekiah, for he had heard that he had been sick and had recovered. Hezekiah welcomed them and showed them all his treasure house, the silver, the gold, the spices, the precious oil, his whole armory, all that was found in his storehouses. There was nothing in his house or in all that his realm that Hezekiah did not show them. Then the prophet Isaiah came to King Hezekiah and said to him, What did these men say? From where did they come? Hezekiah answered, They have come to me from a far country, from Babylon. He said, What have they seen in your house? Hezekiah answered, They have seen all that is in my house. There is nothing in my storehouses that I did not show them. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord of hosts. Days are coming when all that is in your house and that which your ancestors have stored up until this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, says the Lord. Some of your own sons who were born to you shall be taken away. They shall be eunuchs in the palace of the kings of Babylon. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, The word of the Lord that you have said is good, for he thought, there will be peace and security in my days.
here ends the first reading. And the song of the Spirit. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me to give to everyone according to their deeds. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, say the Spirit and the bride. Come, let each hear a reply. Come forward, ye who are thirsty. Let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. And Matthew's Gospel, chapter 17, beginning at verse 12. When they came to the crowd, a man came to Jesus, knelt before him and said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is epileptic and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus answered, you faithful and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I tell you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Here ends the second reading. And our responsory. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. For there is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared, in your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. And so our prayers of intercession. In the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Ohio in the Episcopal Church of the United States for its Bishop Mark Hollingsworth. Continue to pray for the Kadawine Mission Area for St. Binos in Betis Kadawine, for the Reverend Jeanette Wilkes and the Church Wardens, Ruth Hockley and Gillian Humphreys. We pray for the Church's ministry to children and young people and families that they may know the true meaning and joy of the Christmas message. We continue to pray for the world around us, praying especially for peace in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe. We continue to pray for those who in our own country suffer because of the cost of living crisis. We pray for those who are sick amongst them, Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Roy, Barbara, Derek, Jess, Sean and Wendy, and we remember the faithful departed among them, Sharon and David. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his judgment with justice and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of the bread, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick, and raise up all who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. That the light of God's coming may dawn on those who live in darkness and the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us command the world which Christ will judge to the mercy and protection of God. O God, the judge of all who gave your servant, John of the Cross, a warmth of nature, a strength of purpose and a mystical faith that sustained him even in the darkness, shed your light on all who love you and grant them unity of body and soul in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks very much for joining me again on this Wednesday evening. Thank you.